Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Chord Compendium. And today we're going to be looking at the family of chords that start on the letter D. All right. So we're going to put up the diagram on screen for the D major chord. All right. There is your D major chord. All right. There it is on the fretboard. Next up, we have what's called a D add nine. Now this one's a little tricky. It's quite, quite a stretch, but with a little work and a little practice, you should be good. D add nine. All right, diagram on screen. There's the fingers. Next up we have the D7 chord, which is the dominant. Love dominant chords. There's your D7. After that, we have D minor. All right, there's your D minor. Keep in mind, guys, this is a video. So if you're learning these for the first time, please download, screenshot, pause, do whatever you got to do to learn this stuff at your own pace. Next one is the D minor seven. All right. That one's got a nice ring to it. D minor seven. Followed by the D sus four. The diagram for the D sus four, as you can see on the screen, is leaving out one, two, which if you get rid of the pinky, if you get rid of one, three, you just end up with the D chord, right? I find that the sus four is easiest played by forming the D chord first and then just shoving the pinky down on one, three in addition. So you're using all four fingers and the one, three will cancel the one, two, but I feel like it's just so much easier to let that muscle memory guide you and play that D chord first. So here's your sus four. All right, there's your sus four. Then we have the D diminished. The beautiful awkwardness of the diminished chord. D diminished, just the triad. Triad meaning three note chord. Then we have a D6. This one's fairly easy. There's your D6. Probably the hardest part about these chords is avoiding the E and the A string. All right, you can sometimes you can reach your thumb over and just kind of lightly mute them, and that helps. Or maybe you could just practice more, Dave. Just practice more. Jesus Christ. Here's the D9. That one evokes a Pink Floydian vibe to me. I like that. D9. All right. And that's it. That's all we got for the D family chords. Tune in next week where we will take a look at the E family chords. I hope this stuff is helpful. Please leave a comment below if you like or dislike this situation. If you have any tips on uh, ways to improve this for the viewer, if you're the one learning this and you find it to be a little bit less than satisfactory, please let me know and I can always you know, affect change the best I can. As always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe as it is free, and we'll see you for the next one. Thank you.